Hello everybody. So today I want to show you a simple um, tutorial on how to do um, a micro macrame necklace. Um, I was asked to do a tutorial on a similar style necklace which um, I'll end up doing later. This is a more simple technique, something that I've been wanting to do for a while. Um, for this necklace, you can use either uh, a crescent or a circle um, of any kind, like a wood, a wood loop circle. Um, you can use a ring, um, anything with a loop type of style. You can wrap it. I'm going to use my rose quartz crescent thingy. <clears throat> you can find these on Amazon. I think they're like 20 for $20. Something like that. So for this tutorial, I'm using one millimeter polyester waxed cord. Um, and I cut about seven feet long each. Um, let's see. I've got about six six cords seven feet long and what you're gonna do is take one you're gonna fold it down like so You're going to do that all the way around. Now I've got a little board right here with some pins. You could use a pillow um, or a, a blanket um, or even a rug or something to that nature that you could stick a pin in to sort of hold your creation up. You kind of want to tighten them so they're not overlapping each other. Again, this is six cords, seven feet long each. Kind of want to make sure that they're in the middle. 
Okay, so you're going to do, start from either side, but I like to start on my right side. I forget what this knot is called. I need to get some more pins. This might help. Make sure your knots are nice and tight. You don't want your necklace to be a little loose on different angles. So I try to tighten them just a tad right before you go to the next step. So there's one side. And then you do the exact same on the other. You can see what I'm doing. I wanted to use a bright color for my first tutorial so that way everyone can see the cords really well. Let's see, what do I got going? Okay. So I don't know if you can tell, it's really symmetrical on each side. And that was me stepping on the cord, which I do a lot. Now you're going to connect the two middle pieces. some more pins on here just to keep it more stable. Okay, so this is going to be the middle part of the necklace. Now, you know what, I'm going to come up this way. Better angle for you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna come up this way. And now instead of going to the next cord, 
I'm going to add the chord to my finger and then go to the next chord. Just how you would with one chord. Now you take the third chord and you add it just like you did with the last one and keep going. Add it and keep going. Add it and keep going. Now you're going to do the same thing to the other side. Add it to your hand and keep going. Add it to your hand and keep going. Add it to your hand and keep going. Okay. Now, as you can see, now I forget what this this uh, knot is called too, but you're going to instead of making the cord come out this way, you're going to make it come out this way. So, make sure it's nice and tight. Uh -oh. You're gonna do that twice. Then you're gonna make the cord come out this way. Then you're going to make the cord come out this way. Make sure they're nice and tight. And you just keep doing that. Just pop it back in there. These pins aren't really holding it down that great. Let's get another one right in the middle. That'll help. Now that you have a few knots on that side, you're gonna do this side. Make sure they're nice and tight. Then you're going to make it come out on this side next. Push it up there. Make sure it's nice and tight.
now. As you can see, you got some length on this. Um, 